In this video, I will be providing my honest review of the Solly Baby Wrap. I have been baby wearing in the Solly Wrap since 2020. I had one baby who hated the wrap, one baby who loved the wrap, and then one who could go either way. So hopefully this video helps you decide if the Solly Baby Wrap is the right carrier for you. If you're new here, I'm Emily. I'm the stroller mom. I review strollers, car seats, baby carriers for moms and families. I'm a mom of three and I use all of these things with my babies and love to help parents decide what's best for them. So if you haven't already, please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And then if you decide you want to buy the Solly Baby Carrier after this review, be sure to shop in the link below because my affiliate link gives you 10% off. So a little background on my journey with the Solly Baby Wrap. I had seen, this is my original one, the Dusty Rose, and then I have the Liberty Collection print here. And I dreamed of the Solly Baby Wrap before I had a baby. I was just so excited to be able to wear my baby and put it on my registry along with the structured carrier. But I felt like the structured carrier like I would like that one more. And the Sally Baby Wrap was just like pretty and not necessarily practical. So fast forward, 2020, COVID hits, middle of a pandemic, I have my first baby, so we're hardly going anywhere. And also it was hot. So my baby, my first baby did not like being worn at all. And so the learning curve that came with the Sally Baby Wrap, a baby who didn't like being worn and we weren't going many places to where I got a lot of opportunity to like try it out outside of the house it made it a little tricky and overwhelming for me as a mom. Fast forward to my second baby, she was born in winter in January and she was very fussy and had colic and just really needed to be worn and just struggled. And the Solly Baby Wrap changed my life. Like, I don't think I could have survived the newborn stage with my second without the Solly Baby Wrap. And now having a third, it is like one of my top essentials for babies. So here's why. One thing I love about the Sly Baby Wrap is it is so soft and beautiful and stretchy, but it also is so nice and close for your baby. I also love these panels here that I can tuck their head in. She can also have her head out when she's awake. And then I also like always switch each time I wear it, but then I can pull this flap over like this to still making sure like I can see her airways and stuff, but to help with like newborn overstimulation. I have been able to sit through church for two of my kids now consistently for the first several months. It's just so wonderful. So what is the Sally Baby Wrap? It is a wrap that retails for $74.84 for their special collections, and you can wear your baby from eight to 25 pounds. You can only wear them in this forward facing position, which is honestly all you need for the most part during these early stages, especially when they're under 25 pounds. The other thing I love about it is you can do a newborn carry, which I have here where it's kind of like a swaddle with their legs tucked in, or you can pull it out and tuck it under their bottom. This helps with like when it's hot, but also when they're older and their legs are longer. So that's kind of the two carrying positions there. Um, the other thing I love about it is it's so compact and small. It fits in this little bag here and it goes so nicely in your diaper bag. Even once I get out of the newborn stage, like this will be my diaper bag carrier for when I don't grab my structure or things like that because it's just so nice. And I ended up wearing my, my first, second, which child is it? My brain cells. Um, my second, Honestly, I would even wear her into like 10 months old because she was smaller and she just loved the Solly baby wrap. Some of the downsides of this wrap is it is a bit of a learning curve. So like doing it in front of a mirror, watching some tutorials. I did just record a video on how to do it and some of the things I've learned. So be sure to check that out. But it just has a bit of a learning curve. It's not as straightforward as a structured carrier. So that can intimidate a lot of parents. But once you get it, you get it. The other thing I would say I don't love about it is it is so much material and long that when you're going and putting it on outside of the house, it can like drag on the ground or the dirty floor. So I try and put it on before I go places and just wear it when I'm like driving and stuff. But that is a downside to me. Something that I also love about this carrier though is that it's machine washable and you dry it in the dryer. So that is just so nice because so many carriers you have to air dry. So then you end up losing like a day or two. And as a mom of three with three kids under four, I need to be able to grab this to make dinner. Like I can't do that. And that third or last nap of the day, it's actually more than third, whatever the last nap of the day is, like I almost always have to wear my babies. And so having this be able to be cleaned and easy, quick is just so nice. So 
Would I recommend the Solly Baby Wrap? Absolutely. I would 100% recommend having a Solly Baby Wrap and a structured carrier. The thing, I reason I say structured carrier is because dads tend to prefer the structured carrier. I have put this on my husband. He says it's okay, but it's like very feminine and just, there are some dads who will love it, but for the most part, you'll find your husbands probably will prefer a more structured carrier. Whereas the Solly Baby Wrap is just so nice for that early stage and just nice to have as like your diaper bag carrier and easy on the go. So I hope that answers all your questions on whether you should get a Solly Baby Wrap. If you have any more and I forgot to mention anything, please comment below, I would love to help you. And also if you do decide to buy, shop through the link below, it saves you 10% off. And I hope to see you on the next video.